All right, look, what if I showed you an easy button for Amazon FBA for product research for finding a product? Would that help you out? Guys, this is gonna probably blow your mind a little bit, so stick with me. But the quote that I wanna start this presentation off with is right here from my man, Peter Thiel. He's a billionaire. He founded PayPal with Elon Musk. Smart, smart guy. But anyway, he writes this book, and in the book he says that, as a good rule of thumb, proprietary technology must be at least 10 times better than its closest substitute in some important dimension in order to lead to a real advantage in the industry. So that's what we sought after when we created Boost 9. We wanted to create something that was at least 10 times better than what is currently on the market when it comes to simply finding a product. Because many of you guys watching this know this, that finding a product is basically 99.9% .9 of the battle when it comes to Amazon FBA, right? If you want to sell on Amazon or sell anything online, you need to first find a good product that has good numbers behind it or else you're screwed from the beginning, right? That's the most important thing. So when we started, I mean, this was years and years ago, the only things that were available to us were tools like this. And I don't want to act like I'm uh, trashing on these tools. These are great companies. All these companies that I'm going to show are great companies. We work with a lot of these brands, but we still just wanted to improve on what was already there, like I said, right? And so look, um, Jungle Scout, for instance, a lot of you guys have played around with Jungle Scout. Basically what you can do is you can come onto Amazon and you can, you know, look through products. You can search anything on Amazon. You can pull up, hit the Jungle Scout button. It'll tell you how much money that product is selling on Amazon. When I first saw this, when I first started selling on Amazon, I was like, wow, this is incredible. Like, wow, this char this wireless charger is doing $58,000 a month in sales or 58,000 units in sales and $700,000 a month in revenue. That is insane. That's incredible. That's awesome to know, right? But the crazy thing about Jungle Scout that I learned pretty quickly, and, and again, nothing against Jungle Scout. Some people like to use this and it's great, but there's just not really a way to know right away which numbers are the most important, right? It's like, oh, is it important that this has a bunch of revenue? new i mean it's important that it has a lot of reviews what's with this rating where does that number even come from this opportunity score is blurred out here because i didn't even pay for the the full version but they give you some score but what does that score mean how is that calculated what do these numbers even mean like it's just hard to know you're looking around you're like okay well maybe i should sell wireless charger maybe i shouldn't i don't know maybe i'll sell a baby pillow i don't know and then you just pull it up you pull something else up and you run it and you basically spend your whole life you know, searching things on Amazon up here and pulling up Jungle Scout. And guys, there is a much better way. So stick with me. Do not get bored. I'm going to show you at the end, like I said, the easy button that is going to make this at least 10 times easier. I think it's more like a thousand times easier to do this. Okay. So I just want to show you the progression though of what most people struggle to do with Amazon, right? They pull up stuff. I don't even know why it's not even working. It's not even working now, but they just basically search through. I'll show you another tool. Okay. This is a uh, viral launch, another great company, but recently they fired their CEO who we love Casey Goss. He's an amazing guy, so I don't know why they did that. That was really stupid of them because he's amazing. But anyway, this is their um, this is their tool, and it does the same basic thing, right? Like you pull up wireless charger again. Sorry, it's moving around, and you can tell that you know it has it has high revenues. Here's the BSR. If you were new to Amazon, though, honestly, like for you, those of you watching this that are new to Amazon, does any of this actually help you? Like that's my question. Like, um, okay, the price, the unit margin. What is this? Okay, the idea score. That's cool. That, I mean, it shows me that it's not a good idea, but why isn't it a good idea? Like, what about it isn't good, right? This is this is the problem I had when I was selling on Amazon. It's still the problem today for most people. They're like, what do all these numbers mean? Like, it just, you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. And so, same thing. Okay, so this last tool, Helium 10, is, is badass. So don't be, don't get the wrong idea. We love Helium 10. We are a huge affiliate for Helium 10. They're amazing. They even included our cool score here at the top, which I'll explain in a second. But they're amazing. But but their their Chrome extension does have that same kind of issue where it's like, all right, what am I looking at here? What are all these numbers? This is complicated. I mean, just look at it. It's it's very advanced. And they do have other tools on the back end, all these companies do, where you can sort differently and all that stuff. But for us, we wanted to give you guys the easy button, right? It's like, how do we make this simpler? Like, it's just too many numbers, right? And so we came up with this tool. It's called Boost 9 Pro. Before, it was just Boost 9, okay? Boost 9 was the original version. We've had it, we had it for a while. And basically, what we came up with after doing all this research ourselves and actually after launching a bunch of products, which I think is a key difference, guys. If you're watching this, just pay attention to what I'm saying really quickly, okay? There are software companies like, you know, like Jungle Scout and like Viral Launch. And I mean, Helium 10 has great people on staff. Everyone has great people on staff. However, what I know about, I don't, I don't know if they're actually selling on Amazon or what they're doing, but what I know from us is that we have taken these characteristics, okay, that we have developed and built into Boost 9 Pro. And then we've actually launched products and our students have launched thousands of products using the, these these characteristics that I'm gonna explain to you in a second. So it's been te battle tested on actually Amazon, right? It's not just like an idea score that's like, 
this is a good idea. But no, it's actually, we've proven that seven and seven, what I'm going to show you here in a second works. Okay. It just does. We, we've done it thousands of times, but anyway, that's besides the point. So, so what is seven and seven? Why does this tool look so much simpler than all the other tools? Well, let me back up a second. Okay. So at first, our first screen basically just narrows it down for you automatically. But if you click on the products tab, it starts to look kind of like one of these tools, right? Where it's got all the numbers, you know, they look similar. It's got the numbers, how much money they're making in revenue, how much reviews they have, all of that stuff, right? Like that makes sense. Okay. It's, it's the same type of thing. However, we have already sorted it based on what is important. So what is important? Okay. Well, here's what's important. I'm going to break it down. This is going to blow your mind. Take notes if you're watching this. Okay. So if you're on Amazon, let me just go to a blank page on Amazon. Let me close out Helium here. Okay. If I was on this wireless charger page, what we figured out is important is that the keyword, this wireless charger keyword, you guys see this wireless charger, right? This keyword is a market. It's like a, it's like an aisle at the grocery store, right? It's got, it's a certain market. Now, in order to understand if this market is a whoa, in order to understand if this market is a good market, you need to understand the market as a whole. And basically the whole market is summarized by the first 10 products. Because when you search for something on Amazon, guys, right? You're, you're with me, right? If you type in wireless charger and search for something, you're not going to buy any product that's not in the top 10, right? You're not. It has to be in the top 10. So basically it all comes down to the top 10 products on this page. The rest of it might as well not even exist because these are the ones that people buy and this is where you want to be, right? So what we determined is what characteristics do these top 10 products, this one, this one, this one, this one, boom, you know, scroll down. What do all of these top 10 together? Cause that's really the market. The market is not, you know, I don't know how many pages are on here. There's like there's 20,000 pages of wireless chargers. The real, the actual true market that you're targeting though is only 10 products. So what about those 10 products as a whole is going to make the market great? Does that make sense guys? That's what we wanted to figure out. And if you're looking at like a, let's go back to the viral launch. It's impossible to know, okay, what is common about, do these 10 first 10 products, that's the actual market. Like these first 10 right here are the only ones that really matter, right? What about them? What are, which number should I be looking at for these 10? Like what makes what? And so after years and years of struggle with this and after actually testing it, we, we figured out that it's actually doesn't matter. All these numbers on this page don't even matter. The only ones that matter are this. Okay. So if I go back to boost nine, if you go back to the overview page, we built the whole tool around this concept. We call it the seven and seven score. It's trademarked. You can't find this on any other tool. Okay. If you have seven out of the top 10 products have over $5,000 in revenue. Okay. That's like the baseline. That's the lowest you want to go. Okay. If seven out of the top 10 have that, that means that the overall market has good demand. Does that make sense? Like, like seriously comment below if, it, if I'm not making sense, I want to make more sense, but, but that means that overall, like seven out of the top 10, 70% of the products on the top 10 are making over 5k. That means there's high demand for that product. Does that make sense? It's just a, it's a basic demand measurement. Something that you really need in a business is high demand, right? The next thing that we, that we knew is not only do you need high demand, right? So obviously like a wire, I'll show you on viral launch again, wireless charger obviously has high demand, right? Lots of monthly revenue right here. And you have to like, you have to like squint to even see, you know, on this tool, but it's pretty obvious here that on boost nine pro that it has high demand, right? It's green on the left side, <laughs> simple to see on the right side though, is competition. While you can have a ton of demand, if there's a ton of people selling that product as well, which there are for wireless charger, you're not going to be able to, you know, find a great product. So what we figured out is that under, you need under 75 reviews. Okay. So 75 reviews is the, is the highest you want your competition to have, but it can't just be one of those products has less than 75 reviews, right? You need seven out of the top 10 on that page to have under 75 reviews. So in this case, wireless chargers case, if we go to the products, look, 34,000 reviews, 52,000 or 25,000 reviews. Like these products have way too many reviews, right? So it gets a low score on the competition side for the seven and seven. Does that make sense guys? It's very simple. That's how boost nine works is that you know, you get these two things to work together in tandem at the same time. And you suddenly figure out that, wow, this market is a lot better. And there's a lot of data behind that, right? Cause you're talking 10 products for each search and also for two different characteristics. And it's all summarized right here. So that's a lot of data summarized in this little box. So you can quickly and easily see what you need to see. Does that make sense guys? So even this tool right here, before I even hit this magical button right here, this, this, this is like the punchline for those of you who stay, you get like the cookie at the end of the video, this button changes the whole game. Okay. Cause what I, what I haven't pointed out to you guys yet. Okay. And the reason I wanted to talk about the easy button at the beginning is that 
Uh, what, how do you actually, let's say you, you even knew this, right? Let's say you knew that you were looking for seven and sevens. Most people don't know that, but once you figure that out after years and years of trial and error, you figure it out. Well, how would you even find one of these using a different tool? That's the question, right? Like, let's say I was using viral launch cause the other ones won't even open. So I want to find a seven and seven. How would I do that? Okay. Well, uh, okay. I got to count first of all. Okay. Well, one, two, three. Okay. These all have over 5,000 in revenue. Okay. Uh, they all have way too many reviews. Okay, that doesn't work. Now what do I do? Okay, well, I have to go back. What else should I search for? Uh, uh, a keyboard. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're looking around your desk, and this is the hardest part about product research, guys. I hope you're with me. Are you with me? It's impossible. Like, you're like, you're, you're, you're like, wait, what should I search for? There are how many products on Amazon? 10 million? 10 billion? I'm a bazillion products on Amazon, right? Like, how am I supposed to know what to search for in order to get this magical combination? Okay, I searched keyboard. Let's just try it. Like, it's the only thing I can think of. Okay, I'll pull it up on Viral Launch because um, we're making fun of them today, I guess. I don't know. They shouldn't have fired. You guys shouldn't have fired Casey Goss. I mean, the guy's a great guy. I don't know why you did that. That was stupid. Now I get to make fun of you on a video. Um, anyway, um, look, like, okay, now let me count. Uh, this one has 5,000 revenue. This one has zero revenue. What? How many reviews do I need? Like, you can't even visualize it. You can't even see it, much less you can find it. Like, good luck finding a 7-7 seven seven product with any other tool. Seriously, guys, it's impossible. It takes forever, and you don't even know what to search for. But if I have Boost 9 Pro, literally, I'm going to show you how easy it is to find a good product to sell on Amazon. Remember when I said we're looking for something that's 10 times better than its closest substitute, guys? This is a lot better than 10 times. Watch this. Ready? All right. Uh, I don't know how to find a 7-7 seven seven product. Boom! Oh my gosh, there's 15 of them. 15 right there instantly. Boom, bang, done deal. Not a worry. It's done. Like, guys, I don't know what to say how crazy this is. Look, you can just pull this up. Fingerprint time cards. I mean, how long would it take you? I just want to ask you this question at home and comment below if you have an answer. How long do you think it would take you to come up with fingerprint time cards as your search term in order to find this product? Probably forever. I don't think you ever would come up with that on your own or just think of that off the top of your head, right? That's impossible. So look, I'll run this on Boost 9 again. It did it for me instantly, and now we'll see right away here. Um, it's loading a little slow because I'm recording, but 7 and 9. Look at that. It's not even a 7 and 7 product. It means that it's even better. It's a 7 and 9 product. You can save this as a favorite. You can favorite this. You can go check your favorites later and, and have a list of all the things that you're looking at, and you can check their scores and update them. Like It's all right here in the tool, right on Amazon. You don't ever have to leave Amazon. It's right on Amazon's pages, and it's pulling data directly from Amazon. This is nuts, guys. Let's do another one. I mean, like, seriously. Okay, well, should I go try to find another product on here? Like, um... All right, let me try to find a seven. Like, no, like this takes too long. Your time is too valuable for this, guys. Okay, let me click it again. Oh, found 15 more. Okay, let's click on pink stripe tablecloth. That's cool. I never would have thought to search for that, but that's cool that that's a good market. Let's see if it, let's see how good of a market it is. I can pull it up on Boost 9 Pro and see the score instantly. And not only that, there's an ROI checker in here. There's everything basically that you actually need to actually have success on Amazon and not all the random numbers that just confuse you as you're going through this journey, right? So there you go, seven and eight, boom, right there. You can go to products right here. You can look into it. You can type in your ROI. You can see what you what what profit you can expect to make once you've actually sourced the product. We can go on and on and on. But basically, this tool is like the laser knife of uh, tools. It's the easy button of tools, guys. I don't know how to make it any easier. Obviously, we don't have any of the other cool stuff that Helium 10 has. Like they have a bunch of they have a billion other tools as well. But when it comes to just finding a product, if you're not using Boost 9 Pro, you're wasting your time. And and since, and the crazy part is this, guys, picture your Amazon timeline. Can you guys see this? I'm like way back here. Picture your Amazon timeline as this, okay? Like it's this long, right? This is how long from you learning about Amazon today, I learned about it today, okay? And then to when you actually get to make money on Amazon. 99% of this time, 99% is spent probably up to here is spent doing what I just showed you, okay? Finding a product. I'm not kidding. Some people would take some six months, seven months, eight months. Okay, but what if I told you just now, which I just did, I could save you six, seven, eight months and you could find products like this. And every day this list refreshes, it's randomized, it's insane, right? Wouldn't that change your life? Like you could spend all the time that you wasted from here to here, you could now expand this little bit of time, which is where you actually make the money, guys. The ROI and all that stuff is where you actually make the money. You could expand that back and use all this time for profit, for activities that drive profit. 
I don't know what to say, guys. I love it. I'm really excited about it. I just wanted to make a review showing you guys how much, how powerful this tool is. Didn't mean to trash anyone besides Viral Launch. You never should have fired Casey. That was stupid. But everybody else, love you guys still. Helium 10, especially. You guys are freaking awesome. But I just wanted to show you guys the laser-focused version of this tool that's an easy button for everybody. And if you click, there should be a link below. I don't know where you're going to be watching this. Whatever. It should take you to a place where you could try this out for free. Take three days of it and just see for sure if you want to do it. Uh, because it's pretty fun once you've used it. So I would encourage you just to at least try it because I think you're going to love it. So that's all I got for you guys. Wherever you're watching this, hit the like button. Hit the love button if you learned something. Type me a comment if you had a good time watching this. I don't know. Show me some love. Love you guys. Thank you for watching this, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!